Hello, my name is Brian Oski. And I'm Awesome Rouse, and you're listening to The Inner Gamer On. And today we'll be talking about Borderlands 3 developers getting paid way less on bonuses than expected because apparently Borderlands 3 was a lot more expensive to make than originally thought. And even though they are promised big bonuses, they did not get that money. So uh, are they assholes or are they really talking the truth we're gonna talk all about it and uh yeah let's dive right in and as always if you enjoy this content please like subscribe and bang that bell because we know you want to right brett right yes yes bang it bang it real good Next story we got, Borderlands 3 developer Gearbox, according to Game Rant here is where I'm pulling this article from. They pay their employees less money every year. They don't have as high of salaries as they would at other places, but they do get pretty sizable bonuses after a game launch. So it's expected that you get a good bonus that, to offset the lower paying jobs that you're getting. But they also have a revenue share model where 60% of the, the profits and stuff go back to the company, whereas 40% is distributed to the employees on a quarterly basis in the form of a bonus. In Borderlands 2, apparently some of the bonuses were enough for employees to buy houses. Borderlands 3 was as successful or even more successful than Borderlands 2. And Gearbox employees were promised bonuses worth hundreds of thousands of dollars after Borderlands 3 launched with the amount increasing the longer employees had been with the company. Well, um, according to employees, the promised bonus checks that they had that were in the tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands were not there. Instead, there was a massive cut to the bonuses. Pitchford stated that he hoped to get employees in advance on the next royalty check. He also wanted to mention that it did not attribute to the shortfall to the coronavirus, which had led to economic hardship and business closure throughout the world. Basically, it came down to saying that although this game did make a lot of money and did really well, there was a higher cost to develop this game. They had to switch from Unreal 3 to Unreal 4 during the game development. The the added complications to, to building it out and therefore they got a lower bonus than what was expected one he should have been more transparent with them and two he fucked up i mean i guess i see both sides of it i mean if it costs more it sucks it takes away from these bonuses but if you promise something to people you gotta either deliver to them or definitely tell them way early on hey this is what it looks like because <laughs> yeah that's that a bad leader if you know what's going to happen and, and you don't tell anybody yeah, you got to prepare them for what could be a negative situation. So right. it's like if they're not going to get big bonuses, like let them know well in advance. Just be like, hey guys, here's the deal. We spent X millions of dollars on this game. We've made X millions of dollars, but we didn't make enough. And then here's the numbers and show it to them. Conspiracy theorists would say that, you know, maybe he pocketed more than he should have, or maybe he's real and right and like didn't give them as much profits as they thought, which makes sense. I mean, it definitely didn't sell as much as they projected. And I think that was the concern is that they were projecting higher numbers and promising higher bonuses based on projections and not realities. Reportedly said that anyone unhappy with the bonuses was free to quit. So this guy basically is was like a tough. horrible, horrible leader. Seriously, yeah. dude. Are you kidding me? Who the hell says that? If he really said that, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's, it's I would. I'd be like, bullshit, fine. Though. I will quit. Fuck this company. That makes me believe that you know he did take more than he. And he just seems selfish. Maybe he's not. I don't know. Maybe he's frustrated. It could have been a bad day for him. If you're gonna be a leader, you got to be on your A game all the time when you're dealing with people who are working for you. Being a leader is really challenging. I mean, the the more you're in it, the the harder it gets, and the bigger you get, the hard, the even harder it gets. Because not only do you have to be really good at being the leader, but then you also have to make sure people underneath you are basically being an extension of you and carrying that thing through. And that can be really challenging if they don't do the right things. You need to be mindful of every single piece that's moving in the business, which unfortunately makes it to where you can't do work yourself anymore. That's the, the tricky part is just making sure that you're enabling your team to do the best that they can do, but also being honest with them and open and transparent you can't hide things away because if you hide things away then they're going to lose that trust mm -hmm. he's probably lost trust of every single employee in that office the god of war director mm -hmm. cory barlaw came out and tweeted the other day quote their actions were a shitty thing to do to the actual people responsible for the things you make i don't i don't disagree according to the publisher of 2k the borderlands franchise is a billion dollar global brand i think they should have caught this a little bit and stuff like that but apparently they did not 